Yeah, what's up everyone? What up Acme, Michi, Mega, Dr. Tank, Jezebel, and Paws of Aries and Raiders. How's everyone doing? What up Raiders? What up Cloud? Thanks everyone. Yes, I am back after a week of sleeping. Literally slept all week long. It was horrible. What up Bent? Thanks for joining. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. Um, so, <laughs> I'm glad I have a theme song, Acme and Mega. And I hope I, I have a theme song in everyone's mind. I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you, Dr. Dank, for asking. What up, Hilipi and Drax? I am doing better. I'm not fully recovered. I am not fully recovered. Um, I still have, like the sinus pressure and uh and i can definitely feel it in my head but i no longer have a headache which i've had a headache i have literally had a headache all week since sunday so if, for those of you that jo that were with us on sunday uh last week so a week ago um remember i was saying oh i'm getting jittery right right i'm getting jittery i'm getting kind of cold that was uh that was covid that was covid setting in like full going full force on me during stream right there near the end of the stream right um and so i got done and i just i got so cold i had chills for days i could not control the chills i was getting and um i had to sleep with a heater and then i got uncontrollable like sweats never got a fever but i had cold sweats going the whole time and I and immediately the next day I went and got a test, a COVID test, and driving to the place, man, I should not have been driving. Right? COVID messes with your mind. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous. So I've had it all week. I still I still have it. I'm not clear to go back to work until this Friday. Uh, but I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling better. I, uh, I lost my taste two days ago. Two days ago, I lost my, my sense of taste and smell. So uh, tonight we're drinking tea. I don't know what it tastes like, but uh, it's great. I also picked up some, I picked up some Pedialyte. Good old Pedialyte. All right, Ben, thank you so much for, for the support, dude. You have a good night. Um, and uh, Pedialyte has saved me. It still tastes terrible, even though I can't taste. Yo, what up, Violetta? Oh, man. So, I can... Okay, so the funny thing about losing my sense of taste with COVID here is, um, um, is that I can still taste. I can still taste, but it's like, I can taste salt. I can taste pepper. I can taste that it's sweet. That's it. I can't taste anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah, so after I got tested for COVID, I got the email from my clinic saying, hey, Ryan, if you want the COVID vaccine, you're not qualified. You can come in and get it. And I'm like, thanks. But yeah, it's really, really weird. Oh, you guys want to see, you guys want to see what I got in the mail from uh, Jezebel? Also, I'm starting to get really warm. So one moment, one moment, let me just uh, take this, take a sweatshirt off here. Uh, you guys want to see? I don't know how long we're gonna go. We're gonna see how long I can last. Uh, you guys want to see what uh, what I got from our lovely uh, Jezebel from Jezebel Couture? Check it out. She made these for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys see them? Check it out. They are gemstone pants. Jezebel, you still in here? You still in here? Yeah, look at that. Look how they make my booty stand out. Ooh, ooh, look at that nice, like, yeah, really lifts it up, right? Contour so well. They, it's like a nice faceted, faceted booty right there. <laughs> Jezebel, go ahead and toss your uh, your thing up, your uh, your shop. Yeah, Jezebel made these for me, and they they are super comfy. Okay, they they really just like hug me and make me feel so so nice all right guys so we've been trying to finish this 
for what feels like a month, right? We're, we're trying to finish up this Legend of Zelda rupee made from a cubic zirconia. This morning, I finished cutting the bottom of it. It's been setting all day. Um, so we're going to finish that up. And actually, today's the first day. Today's the first day since I got COVID. I do have hair. Yes, yes, I've got a, I've got a little bit of hair. Look at that. Look at that. Just, a, just a little bit. You can tell I've, uh, I've been sick. <laughs> you can tell I've been sick. Yes, they're keeping me very warm. So warm, in fact, I had to take my sweatshirt off. Woo! And what's really nice about not being able to smell is if I forget to put deodorant on, I don't even worry about it. <laughs> Until Sandy's like, Ryan, you stink. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to put deodorant on this morning. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So I also, I'm doing another project for the cute jeweler. Um, I'm recutting her... She's got a big amethyst that she's that she wants me to recut. Uh, let me show you. So like I said, today today was actually the first day. Today is the first day that I feel well enough to actually fasten. I haven't been able to touch my fastening machine all week. No, Sandy, surprisingly, for something that is super contagious, never got COVID from me. Ever. Nope. All of our tests come back negative. But yeah, check it out. We're recutting this stone right here. It's a big old amethyst. We finished cutting the whole top. Yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Next, I'm going to transfer it. We're going to cut the, the pavilion. But yeah, finally got that, that bad boy recut. Yeah, I don't even spread my germs. My, my, uh... My immune system, my immune system is so good, it just contains it, right? It's like this thing isn't leaving our body, we're killing it. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, let's get to it. So we got to go to 29 degrees. Oh, by the way, have any has anyone uh, been watching any TV shows or um, or movies lately where you've heard some of the songs we hear here on stream? anyone because Sandy and I just uh, finished watching through the new there's a new Netflix series out that um, is called uh, Shadow and Bone I think is what it's called or Bone and Shadow something like that um, I think it's Shadow and Bone and uh, it's actually a book series but it's really really good and I heard any TV or movie shows yes <laughs> um, but um, I've been hearing more and more of our electro swing music here on TV shows, so that's really good for the uh, the artists that put their music out um, for for everyone to listen to. Um, what's that called when you don't get not royalty free? There we go, royalty free. So yeah, I've been hearing some royalty-free music in um, some TV and movie shows. You watched the new Mortal Kombat movie? How was how was it? Was it as bad as all the other Mortal Kombat movies in the past? Dude, I grew up on Mortal Kombat movies. I loved them. Absolutely loved them. Yeah, I don't really watch TV a lot either until I got COVID. I've been out of work for I've been out of work for a week now. And work tells me work says, well, you can use your PTO, sorry. We're not gonna pay you for being sick, even though you caught it here at work. It's okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What up, El Chow? Thanks for joining. How are you doing? It was weird and did strange things with the lore. Wasn't that bloody though? Oh, well that's good. I guess that's a that's a new like a new way to take it. Not nearly as bloody. Oh, 
Oh, man. Guys, it feels good to be back. I'm really happy. Your company did the same thing. Use all three... 3.25 of your sick days, and then, I don't know. Yeah, right? So I'm like, all right, can I go back to work soon? I have to. But I also have to be symptom-free for three days in a row, right? And I'm, obviously, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go back to work while I'm still sick, even if I need the money. Um, I'll find it. I'll just, I'll just, I guess, have to stream more, right? Um, oh, my gosh, guys. We had to take Tank to the vet yesterday, like last night, right? Um, so, actually, it was two days ago. Two days ago, all of a sudden, we get back from our walk, right? The dogs go outside, play a little bit, come back in. And... Um, and uh, our and Tank, for those of you that don't know who Tank is, Tank is our uh, retired racing greyhound. Tank lays on the couch. We get ready to watch uh, watch TV together, Sandy and I. And um, all of a sudden, Tank's paws are just like this, you know, normally, except for his one toe is like this. Yeah, just randomly, his toe is just like out here, saying, "Hey guys, how's it going?" Yeah. I'm just, uh, don't know how I got out here, but, uh, I am. So, yeah, his toe's just sitting out here. And we're like, what is going on? So we go and look at his toe. We move it around. He doesn't complain at all about any pain. And so we, uh, we finally realized that our dog has dislocated his toe. Has anyone had their dog dislocated toe before? It's really kind of scary. Um, and so we're sitting here looking at him, playing with it a little bit. And he's not reacting at all. So we uh, we decide that we're going to take him to the vet. So we take him on over to the vet and uh, wait around for three hours. I actually, technically, I couldn't go to the vet, so Sandy took him to the vet and sat there for three hours. And uh, they take him in, they take x-rays, and they're like, okay, we got to talk to a surgeon. But we're like, why do you have to talk to a surgeon about our dogs? Can't you just, like, pop it back in? Just pop it like it's hot. Come on. And... Uh, the, the veterinarian's like, no, I really, I don't feel comfortable just doing that. I got to talk to the surgeon lady. So we're like, okay, when are you going to let us know? And, and she's like, I'll let you know uh, later tonight or in the morning. Later that night goes by. His toe's still out here. His, his foot's starting to swell up a little bit. She gave us pain medicine, at least, and some uh, anti-swelling stuff for his paw. Uh, so he took those. He took those like a champ. And and then um, the next day rolls around. We still don't hear anything, so I give them a call. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're still waiting for, for, uh, for a call from the surgeon. And, we're, and so I'm like, okay, can't we just take them in? You just, like, pop it in. And she's like, you know what? That makes sense. Let me go ask the doctor. And the doctor is like, nope, I got to wait for the surgeon. Because they're saying we might have to amputate his toe. Have you ever heard this? Have you ever heard this from a vet? Oh, you dislocated your finger. We have to cut it off now. I know, right, Violetta? Right? So I'm like, we're not cutting off my dog's toe because he dislocated it. And, uh, and they're like... They're like, well, we might have to because the tendons and stuff might not be strong enough to hold the toe in place. So I'm like, I understand that, but how about first we try putting it back? And uh, it shouldn't be, no, no. So, so I don't think it's a cash grab. And uh, we've gone to this vet for a long time, okay? A very long time, ever since we had a tortoise. Okay, and they've been very helpful, and they've been very, very straightforward, and they tell us honestly, what's up? I think that maybe this veterinarian lady, this doctor, um, 
doesn't know what she's doing is is what I think it is. Otherwise, this vet has been amazing. We love him. Um, so we did kind of get a second opinion, um, and everyone's like, uh, if it's not breaking through the skin, you don't need to take it off. My Greyhound has gotten that, had a dislocated toe multiple times, and uh, we've always been able to just get it popped right back in. So I talked to them again, and I'm like, hey, we're going to try this, okay? And uh, if that doesn't work, and it keeps, if it keeps popping out, then I understand having to remove the toe. So uh, eventually, later that night, at like 7 o'clock last night, right, we get a call saying, okay, we finally talked to the surgeon. She said to pop it back in and I'm like just think about it like think logically about this cut my whole foot off just to be sure <laughs> Acne. <laughs> I wouldn't have car I wouldn't have arms if if the uh, cut it off every time I dislocated one of my shoulders yeah right So, so yeah, we got to pop back in. We got his toe put right back into place, all wrapped up. They said they want us to come back in a few days so they can take a look at it. And uh, she's hoping that the scar tissue and everything uh, forms around the toe and holds it into place. And I'm just sitting here thinking, man, why don't we just do this in the first place and save me a good um, $300, right? Right? So, total, total, this whole thing cost me, like, like, it, all, it almost emptied my savings account, okay? It's stupid how expensive this was, this whole thing. It, it was, um, it was, so for the initial visit and everything, it was like 500 bucks. And then... For them to put them under anesthesia and put it back into place and splint it and do all that stuff, it was another like 300 bucks. And I was just like, oh my freaking god, that's almost $800. Come on. Yeah, I didn't have much savings. But it was just ridiculous the amount of money that costs. So um, I told Sandy, I'm like, maybe we should start taking them to another vet. She's like, well, we're going to give them a chance. And I'm like, all right. I do like them. I like them a lot. I really do. They are a good vet. They just... They, they, drop, they kind of dropped the ball on this one. You know what I mean? I've heard the same kind of things from a couple of people I know in the U.S. now. It's comprehensive pet insurance, not a common thing. Oh, there's pet insurance. Like we've actually, we have looked into it. Um, we just haven't gotten around to actually uh, doing it. Is where we're at on that. But yes, there is pet insurance over here. There's actually two different kind of pet things. It's like you can get pet insurance on um, if your pet injures someone else's animal or someone else. And then there's actual pet insurance that helps cover vet bills, which we should get for our greyhounds since they hurt themselves a lot. But it's not super, it's not super common. Oh man, what up chemist? Oh, poor chemist. I'm sorry, man. Well, okay, so so here's the thing, and I guess the U.S. is a little different when it comes to that act, me, and here's what I think the reason is for that. Again, this is what I think. Um, I think it's because in the U.S., a lot of, a lot of people, um, and 
a lot of people don't look at animals as as mattering. Um, a lot of people look at animals. I grant. I'm not saying they don't love animals. I'm not saying they don't love pets or their pets. But a lot of people uh, look at animals as um, something that you can just let go. Now, I'm not that way, and I don't think anyone here is that way, but there are a lot of people uh, um, in the United States that do think that way, simply because the United States is, is a culture that is run on, um, on money. I guess is is the is is the biggest thing is is money, so so I mean that's just that that's one thought that's crossed my mind, and I know, and I'm not saying that people hate animals or anything like that, but that's something that might make sense. Hey Ryan, if you could take an awesome photo of you in the pants, yes, I will take a one. And one out of them for me. Ha <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me blush, at me. All right, I got to drop down to my 1,200 bit. Oh, by the way, for everyone that is just joining me, I realize I haven't talked at all about what we're doing. Yes, they do. Thank you so much, Jezebel. Um, oh, I got to get all the water off here. Uh, for those that, of you that are joining, uh, we are currently fastening a Legend of Zelda rupee out of Cubic Zirconia. We're hoping, hoping this will be the last time we got to do this. Like I said, we've been working on this for like a month. Oh my gosh, guys. So, I, this is my first time ever drinking Pedialyte. It is the worst thing ever. But it's great. I mean, it, it's really helped me uh, feel better and stay hydrated. Oh, that's the other thing with COVID, man. Oh, no matter how much I drank, I could not stay hydrated. I was so, like, my mouth was just so cottony all the time. It was horrible. But Pedialyte, man, oh. It tastes like you're drinking Night Quill. Just a lot saltier. Yeah, it tastes like salty Night Quill. Broth is really good. Oh, I should I should have tried that. Just keep drinking and end up feeling like a swimming pool. Yeah, like, dude, I drink so much water. And no matter how much water I drank, it just kept getting worse and worse. So then finally, I'm like, all right, I think Pedialyte will help me. And then I started drinking that and um, it worked out. My headache never went away. I, oh dude, I had a headache. No matter what I took, if I took aspirin, Tylenol, ibuprofen, nothing. Nothing fixed my headache at all. It was terrible. Ah, <sighs> guys, did I, did I mention like how happy I am to be back? I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm gonna feel this good on Tuesday. So, uh, so we can stream on Tuesday too. Oh. Oh, guys! Oh, yeah! Also, another thing. This, uh... This Friday... This Friday's Jack Fox Games. I don't know if you guys, uh... Remember that or not, but, uh... This, this weekend, actually, this upcoming weekend, we've got a lot going on. We've got Jack Fox Games. We've got, uh... The Renaissance Streamer Fair. We've got... We're also raising money. We're gonna be... This Friday, we're gonna start raising money for, um... Hungry Children. Uh, we're gonna do a little charity stream. I think we've got uh, four, four or five streams lined up for next week that are aimed to raise money for for children. So I'm glad that I'm gonna be over this COVID, so I can go at that full force. And I hope you're ready for it too.
What else? Sandy and I started watching another show. Um, oh, we watched that Marvel show uh, called... Um, um, I think it's on Disney Plus, though. It's uh, like... Uh, what is it? It's the Winter Soldier and the Falcon Dude. What's his name? I don't even know. It's just Marvel, so I enjoy it. Oh. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier. There we go. Thank you. Gotta say, you're kind of worried that you'd still be sick and we'd miss Jackbox night. Dude, I was worried too. I might not be drinking. We'll see how I feel. However, I did. Oh, guys, check it out. I got a new. I got a new mead. I got a new mead. This mead is from. Um, it's from the United Kingdom, actually. Here it is. Look at Lurgashal, Lurgashal mead, and it was made in 04. Yeah. So I got a sweet. I got a sweet mead right here. That I, I got I got this already all ready to go. Uh, I mean like look at this look at this these guys are so happy look how happy these people are. Um, but yeah I got this all ready to go on Friday so we'll see how I'm feeling Friday hopefully um, I'll be I'll be rearing to go. When did you start using this playlist? You definitely remember a time when it was new, but I can't remember a time before it now. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. I'll do this off camera. <coughs> Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. We started. We started listening to this. What three months ago? I think it's only been three months. Uh, because before this, before this, what did we listen to? We listened to. Oh, what did we? We listened to like it was called Happy. That thing they got rid of it. It was called. It was just called Happy. E F G H Yeah, they got rid of happy, so I think it was this is what we listened to. Or maybe it was something like this. No, I don't even know. We could do traditional Latin. <laughs> yes! A little traditional Latin if in here. How are you guys feeling about this? I look sick. Thanks, Smith. How are you doing tonight, man? I still am sick. But I'm, today is actually the first day that I am feeling well enough to pass it. And uh, to be here with everyone. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to set that up. I don't know how to set up that followage command there. Ryan, I've been to the distillery where that mead was made. It's Blackdown Distillery. It's about 30 miles from you. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what that command is, the follow which command. By the way, guys, tonight I am feeling uh, better from COVID, recovering. And uh, we are fascinating a Legend of Zelda rupee out of a cubic zirconia. Let me show you where we're at so far. And we are uh, listening to some traditional Latin music. We normally listen to Electro Swing, but I figured, uh, yeah, let's just change it up a little bit. Check it out. There we are so far. Man, this I, I enjoy this music, but it's it's a little more mellow than I than I like. Where's my um there it is. Oh Latin pop! Maybe that's what we need. Oh 
There we go. There we go, a little Latin pop. Yo, what up, Windstar? I am feeling better today. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's... It's not very annoying, actually. Um, I mean, I love, I love eating, and I eat food because I love the taste, but, um... This kind of reminds me of, uh... Of the Grotos in, um, um... Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda. Um... Okay, not this part, but... Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Sandy made spaghetti today. Um, the only thing that I'm a little disappointed that I... The, that I couldn't taste is the garlic bread. And, uh, yesterday... Yesterday we had, uh, BLTs. And, um, well, I couldn't taste bacon. But I sure ate it. So, yeah, it's a little annoying... It's, it's a little annoying. Um, but it's not, it's not too terrible, I would say. It's not too bad. And like I said, like, I can taste, um, oh, oh, what's the word? Like, I, I can taste, um, I can taste a little bit of what it is. So, like, I, I can taste, I can taste the salt. Okay, we gotta go back to electro swing. I miss it already. Um, I can taste, like, I can taste if something salty. I can taste something sweet. And, uh. Yo, what up, zombie? How you doing tonight, man? Thanks for joining. So, or like, like when I had garlic bread today, I could taste the butter. I could taste that it was buttery. But that's it. And like, when I put my spaghetti on the garlic bread and took a bite of the garlic bread with the spaghetti on it, the spaghetti tasted, tasted better. You know, I don't know. Your cousin told me he hates it because now he's realizing the texture of things way too much. You told him, now you know how I feel being autistic and having an issue with textures. Let me tell you, when I told him this, it blew his mind. All right, zombie. Thank you so much for, for popping in, man. You have a good night. All right, we gotta go 15.5 degrees now. We're gonna cut those triangles on the sides. But yeah, um, I I guess texture, I've always noticed texture, and texture's never really bothered me unless I have an upset stomach. Aw, well thanks, Maruk. Secret AI. Um, I say I'm not fully recovered yet, man. I'm still feeling it. 233. Oh man, zombie. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad I could. I'm glad I can see you off to sleep. Ah. How you doing tonight, AI? Thanks for joining, man. Yeah, I uh, still recovering. Uh, not fully recovered, unfortunately, but hey, my my headache is mostly gone. That's how I test to see if I ha have a headache. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else go, yep, I've got a headache. <laughs> I do. Yo, what up, racing kid? How are you doing?
Thanks for joining, man. Pushing into the realm of real zombies, Marut. Good, I'm glad you're doing well. We're just finishing up this cubic zirconia that we've been working on for, for what, a month now? I finally feel well enough to facet today, so that's a plus. That is a plus. Yeah, we messed it up like a couple times. So now we're going to get it right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. Having COVID is the worst. Because I literally just slept for an entire week straight. I'd wake up. I'd be like, I think I'm hungry, but I have no appetite. But I should eat something. And uh, and then I'm just like, I want. I should really facet something. And then. Uh, and then I'm like, I, I can't facet anything right now. Because I was just so exhausted. That That's the biggest thing. And I hate, I hate napping. I hate it. Because there's something, you know, there's always something that I'd rather be doing. I'd rather be doing something else. I'd rather be playing a game. I'd rather be faceting a gemstone. I'd rather be just doing something. <laughs> Hungary. Yes. So, so yeah, that is, that has been the hardest part of this COVID thing. Losing my taste. Well, yeah, I had, I had my sense of taste for almost the entire first week. I only lost it two days ago. Or maybe it was yesterday I realized it. No, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I realized I had no taste. But like the whole time I felt it. I felt it just like assaulting my my nasal cavity. Alright, we're almost there on here. Almost there on here. Yes, I said it. Does that make sense? Yo, what up, Badger? You have no taste anyway. How could so? How could I tell? So, so here's. I actually I went to school. I went to school with a guy. Um, good. I you know what? Lava lamps are always fun. They are quite enjoyable to look at. I remember. I remember when those were a huge thing. And then when you don't use them for a while, or they break, they just turn into a lump. It's great. Um, but in school, I actually, uh, there was a guy in my class who could not smell. He had, he had no sense of smell, and so every day he ate the exact same thing for lunch. He had, he had a peanut butter sandwich. Is that what that's called? Anosmia? Yo, what up, Cannon? Thanks for joining, man. How are you doing? I am feeling a bit better. Better enough, at least, to be here. Um, what's that like? If you want to share, Badger. What is that like, man? So, like I said, my, my classmate, he would eat a peanut butter sandwich... A Snickers bar, and um, I think he had—I think he had a cookie or something too. Um, but he said that he couldn't taste anything, and I was like, "That would be interesting." And now, I don't know what's it like smelling thing. Okay, so so for example, for example, Badger. Um, 
So with COVID, I've lost my sense of taste and smell, right? So I can, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, however, when I eat something, I can I can taste. I, I can taste the salt, or or I can taste sour, or I can taste like pepper. Is it is that similar to you? Like like, do do you get that taste? Or like I could taste that there's taste slash feel that that like something is buttery. And I just I find that really interesting. Oh, I still have the Rona Cannon. I still have it. I've had it for a week. Wow, Cannon, you haven't noticed? I haven't streamed for a week. I'm still in quarantine. Have a good night, zombie. Thank you so much. You're only partially. Uh, from what you have been told by the docs, you have about 25% of what is normal. Okay. You don't want to pry into my diseases? Well, I have asthma. I've had asthma ever since I was born. Uh, luckily, I haven't run uh, I haven't run out of oxygen or breath. I've been I've been good there. Um, unless it's a naughty disease, then maybe. No, I caught um, I caught COVID at work. And uh, so I had a quarantine for 10 days. My my 10 days are up on Thursday. Or is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday they are up. You can taste strongly flavored things. Sadly, you can smell terrible things. Oh no, Badger! And not the nice things as easily. Well, it seems like it seems like the nice things are always more subtle anyway, right? I am partial to swinging. Yes. I've got a I've got a tire swing in my backyard. I'll show you some swinging. No, it's true. Like when people are like, "Oh, look, here, smell this rose. It smells great." And then you go to smell it, and you're like, "Okay, I can barely pick up that scent." It's, it mostly just smells like grass. Now watch, everyone's gonna be like, Ryan, you've been smelling uh, the wrong roses. It's actually an evolutionary thing. Bad smells warn you things are bad to ear, be near, etc. Nice smells aren't that aren't as important. You try and smell a rose, and the only thing you ever felt from one is a bee sting. Oh, poor Patcher. Well, you know what? Smelling's overrated. Alright, I'm gonna go back to 29 degrees, guys. My uh, my thing's a little off, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fix that. 29 degrees. For those of you joining, I'm Ryan. I'm uh, just getting over the the COVID, and uh, thanks for joining. What we're doing tonight is we're fastening a cubic zirconia right here. What I do is I take raw I take raw minerals, I turn them into beautiful finished pieces like what you see right here, and uh, yeah. Growing up, your parents got you Play-Doh that smells like flowers, so now every time I smell certain flowers, you always say, oh, it smells like Play-Doh. Ha! Hey, I smell, and if anything, I'm underrated. Some perfumes you can't smell, and sadly, you can smell what is called Axe Overseas. Lynx in New Zealand. Oh! What's the middle one? Oh, that middle one is, uh, that is a, that's a quartz that has hematite 
in uh, inclusions in it. So the hematite is an iron-based metal that oxidized, and that's what gives it that red. Isn't that cool? All right, so let me take a look here. All right, so I gotta cut this one a little bit. You gotta cut this one just a little bit. Yeah, it turned out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. Oh. Oh good, I did go back to 29 degrees. Here I thought I forgot. Yeah, so I think, um, I think what people call that kind of quartz Windstar is, um, Disco Quartz. I think it's called Disco Quartz is what it is. Yeah, Disco Quartz. Even though it's only got red and black in it, I don't know. I think it looks more like confetti. I think Disco Quartz would be more um, like rainbowy. But hey. Who knows, right? All right, let's go back to 15.5 degrees. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it the full three hours tonight, guys. But uh, we will try. We will try. Whatever feels right. Oh, thanks. All right, let's get this down on here. I actually, I've got a, I've got a stone that, when I was setting it, I chipped the corner of it, so I got to recut that too. So we're gonna try. We might, we might get around to trying to fix that here tonight. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a bicolored. Um, We call it bicolored um, um, tourmaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a piece of quartz with hematite in it. It is just a tumbled rock pendant, but what I like about your quartz is how clear it looks since you cut it. Yeah, I know, right? Right, Cannon? It looks great. <laughs> I'm happy too, Jezebel. You gotta test out your new computer and you're going to be uh, getting that your oh sweet yeah dude that's awesome Jezebel I'm happy for you Yo, what up, Bearcat? How you doing, dude? Jezebel, what are you gonna use your computer for? Video games? Because that's that's one of the best reasons to get a computer.
How you doing tonight, Bearcat? Wait, you can use your computer for... You can use your computer for sewing? How do you do that? That's crazy. Will it sew for you? Can it sew for you? I don't think it can. I'm sure it can. There's a lot of things computers can do. Patterns and such. Not, um, I'm doing all right, Bearcat. I'm just getting over, uh, I gotta take these off. I'm starting to sweat. Um, I'm just getting over, uh, COVID. Had COVID all week. So, yeah, I'm finally recovering a bit from that. Yo, what up, Tim? Oh, thank you. You put a needle in the CD drive. Oh. <laughs> oh, sweet, Jezebel. That'll be awesome, dude. A clip of your running computer. Ooh, that's really pretty. Dude, that's better than mine. That's way better than mine. Mine is just like, mine's kind of boring. Yeah, here, look, look at mine. Here, here's my computer. Yeah, pretty, pretty, look at that. It's all dusty. Pretty boring in there. <laughs> That's sweet, Jezebel. It's rainbow and obnoxious. <laughs> You're not up to par lately? All right, Tim. Well, I hope you feel better, man. What up, Blue Feather? How are you doing, dude? Thanks, Bearcat. You had it back in February, dude. It, it like destroyed me for a week straight. I'm still not feeling, I still don't feel 100%. Um, I'm just always tired. Today is the first day that I actually don't feel exhausted. Clean that? Yeah, I will, eventually. Probably, probably when it gets nice out, I'll take my computer out and, and spray it out. You've been extra vigilant about caring for your computer's physical health. I mean, it's 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 better now that it's not on the floor. You know, you know, in my old office. I don't know if many of you uh, were around when I was streamed in my in my old office. Dude, what up, Art by Shelby and Raiders? What up, LaPorsha? Thank you so much for the follow. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah, guys. How's everyone doing? What we're working on here is, uh, what were you, well, first of all, Shelby, what were you streaming tonight? What up, Cheese? Cheese Bob? I love that name. That's great. What up, Crystal? What up, Mel, Melacola, Meloc, oh my god. Melacolop, uh, Mel, <laughs> Melacolips? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what's up, guys? What up, Michaela? Yeah! Thank you so much, guys, for the follow! How's everyone doing tonight? What up, Mega Plague Red Oxymon? Cheese the Bub, thank you so much, guys. I am Ryan. I, uh, I'm actually recovering. This is my first stream in a little bit because uh, I, I had COVID this last week. Uh, actually, I think I still do. Um, 
But yeah, what I do, guys, is I take raw minerals like this citrine here, and I turn them into beautiful finished pieces. Like what you see right here, I cut gemstones. Yeah! Oh, that's crazy, robot! Yeah! Oh, thanks, Shelby! You're not sure where... Oh, I don't know why I called you Shelby. I Maybe it's art by... Oh, I'm sorry, Trisha. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Oh. Guys, go check... I I blame it on... I blame it on COVID. I'm still... I'm still getting over this. Uh, guys, go check out... Art by Trisha Hall. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Trisha. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I didn't even do it right. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Guys, go check out Shelby at Art by Trisha Hall. <laughs> what up, Automaton? <coughs> <laughs> This so is what happens when Ryan has COVID, and uh, and I've no and I don't have any moderators around. Oh my gosh! So yeah, guys, what we're working on? That was all just one word. What we're working on <laughs> is uh, we're working on a cubic zirconia. Oh yeah! Oh, dude, thank you so much, Shelby. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, it was Mega. Mega, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Shelby. Oh, Shelby yeah. at Art by Trisha Hall right there. Thank you so much, LaPortia. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Everyone, Shelby. Oh, my gosh. Let me show you what we're working on, guys. Uh, so we're, we're currently fastening a cubic zirconia. Legend of Zelda Rupee. There we go. You can see we're about to actually polish it here. You see how it's nice and rough? Because that's how I like it, nice and rough. So now we're going to give it a nice high polish. Yeah! You guys actually showed up at a great time. Uh, we're going to give this a nice mirror finish. So, so it looks nice and shiny. Yeah. You've always wanted to be a Shelby. So yeah, how's everyone doing? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I... I got really caught up in calling you Shelby. What were you working on tonight, Trisha? Uh, you said something about tarot cards. Yes! A nice, another Minnesotan mirror finish. Right here. Don't you know. And then after this, I'm going to make some tater tot hot dish. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where are we at here? We're at 29 degrees. Oh, what? Vengeance night. Turn it on the hype train. All right, guys. Yo, thank you so much. <sighs> Malocalypse. Yeah. All right, guys. So when we have a hype train, when we have a hype train, let me let me get, let me give you some of this. Let me give you this. All right, are you guys ready for this? All right, hype train. Hype train in this channel means if we complete a level five hype train, I give away a gemstone. Do you guys want to win some gemstones? Yeah, yeah, we give away real gemstones. Let's put some up here. Yes, and everyone in chat, everyone, everyone, regardless if you are a subscriber or not qualifies to win a gemstone tonight you just have to let me know oh, where you live yeah. i promise i won't stalk you until after my quarantine's done all right so let's see here who wants to win some gemstones now remember we have to complete a level five hype train thank you so much acme for the 100 bits and vengeance with the 10 month or seven no wait what is that seven month oh seven month 
Sub, there's the word. Yeah, let's do this. So guys, remember, we got to complete a level five hype train. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Train and uh, give away. So guys, we are we are at level one. We have three and a half minutes to get to level two. Let me put some gemstones up here for what you guys can win. All right, let's go. Let's do this. First, we gotta clear away all these. Oh, Let's get these yeah. all cleared away. Well, okay, here. We'll put this one on. We'll put this one up here. This one. This one is what I like to call. Hold on, let me, sorry. Sorry, let me just get these out of the, out of the way. Out of the way here, thank you. This is what I like to call the derpy. No one's claimed the derpy yet. This one I actually faceted. This is a Legend of Zelda rupee that, as you can see, it looks a little derpy. Um, it came out a little oblong. Um, however, I do actually have an idea for a great setting for it. Yeah, dude, thank you so much, Cheezel Bub. Yeah, and Chemist and Violetta with all the bits. Guys, we're at level two. We got four minutes left. Can we get up to level three? Let me put some more gemstones up here. If you win, you get to choose which gemstone you win. All right, so we got the Derpy. What else we got here? What else we got? Um, oh, how about we put a ruby up here? This is a, this is a real ruby. It's a natural ruby. Um, it's, it's partially faceted. There's no treatment to it at all. Yeah, thank you so much, Jexy, for gifting. Oh, pardon me. I just burped. For gifting the sub to, who got the sub? Who got the sub? To Cannon. Yeah, there you go, Cannon. Make sure you thank oh, Jexy. Yeah. Thank you so much, LaPortia, for the 50. And Alice with the 100. What up, Artful Turkey? How are you doing tonight, dude? Thanks for joining. You popped in right during our hype train. Guys, we got three minutes to get to level three. We can push that hype train by cheering or subscribing or gifting a sub. Yeah, let's go. Do you guys need more encouragement? I'll put another one up there. Let's put another gemstone up. How about we get, ooh. Ooh, how about we get a big one up there, yeah? Yeah, let's do a big green garnet. How's that sound? Check this thing out. Yeah, look at that beast. Look at that beast. Yeah, so you don't wear Ryan out. Garnets can be so many colors, Shelby. Garnets come in almost every color. Yeah, Violetta pushing us up to level three. Level three. Thank you so much, Violetta, for the 500 bits. Yeah. All right, guys. We're at, we're at level three. Can we get to level four? We're at level three. We got 0% at level three. Four and a half minutes. Let's go. Garnets do come in every color. You've even seen some purple ones. Yes, I actually have a purple one. I'll show you after the hype. After the hype. All right, guys. What's next? What's next? Do I need to sweeten the deal? All right. If we get to... If we get to level four... If we get to level four... I'll put this up. I'll put this up here. But we gotta get to level four. This is a pink sapphire. This is a created pink sapphire. I am feeling a bit better, Winter. Thank you. Yeah. Here's a pink sapphire. If we get to level four, but we gotta get to level four. We got three and a half minutes left to get to level four, guys. And everyone in chat qualifies, but we gotta push that hype train up. We gotta we gotta complete level five. Let's go. Let's do it. Three and a half minutes. Yeah, Vengeance Knight. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. What else I got? Let me see. Let me see if I got anything else here. How about How about we put up, oh yeah, this was another favorite before, you guys remember, you guys remember, you 
Look at this beast. So this is actually pink and green ro rhodonite. This is rhodonite. No, that one is not one of mine. Yeah, Windstar pushes us up to 9%. Guys, we got two and a half minutes to get to level four. Can we get to level four? Let's do it. Now, when I, when I say this thing is enormous, like, this thing's pretty freaking big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Spineless McGee! The 23 months. Dude, thank you so much, Spineless. With the tier two. This pushes us up to 42%. We got two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Can we get to level four? Two minutes. If we get to level four, if we get to level four, this comes on the table. And everyone, everyone in chat qualifies. Dude, thank you so much, Lexi. Spineless McGee oh, with the yeah. gifted subs to Infinity Samurai, Lady Squeaks, Percy, Puffin Tuft. Oh, that's a great name. Hottie Hod. Hottie Hoddle Hoddle. Oh, Hottie yeah. Hod. Hottie Hottie. Hottie Hottie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Pushing us up to level four. All right, guys. We got four oh, minutes, four and a half yeah. minutes to get to level five. Let's get to level five. Make sure you thank Spineless for your new subs. All right, let's see what else I got. What else can I give you? Huh? What else can I give oh, you? Oh, yeah. How about we do... All right, so we got this so far. We've got a green garnet. We've got... Oh, yeah. Don't know what my tweezers are. We've got... An emerald or a, a ruby, and then we've got. Oh yeah, dude! Win star with the gifted sub to Allison. Yeah, thirty-one percent, guys. We got three and a half minutes. Passeru, that's what that's what it says. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still I'm still getting over COVID here, but hey. We're still hype. Let's go. Uh, yeah, 31%, three and a half minutes. Can we get to level five? Let's get to level five, guys. Let's do it. And hey, what else we got up here? We've got the Derpy. This, this one, I actually faceted. In. And uh, came out a little bit, a little bit oblong. But actually, um, I think if it's set in the right piece of jewelry, it will look great. Yeah, can we go, guys? Come on, guys, three minutes. We got three minutes, 31%. Can we get to level five? Let's get to level five. Let me pull something out. Let me pull something out. If we get to level five. Let me find it. Hold on, let me find something here. Okay. All right, how about, let me see what I got here. Let me see what I got. How about if we get to level five? If we get to level five, this tourmaline, this tourmaline goes up. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much for following Dump Down the Ground. Dude, Violetta, thank you so much for the thousand bits, dude. Yeah, pushing us up to 57%. We got less than two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Let's do it. Less than two minutes. All right, we get to level five. That green tourmaline's going up there. What else? What else? What else we got up here on the on the board? We've got a ruby. We've got a garnet. Oh yeah, look at this. 
Oh, then, yeah. Which is obviously too big. But <laughs> then we got Row tonight. Yeah, Windstar. Windstar gifting a tier one sub to Dale Sauer and Vengeance with the 200 bits pushing us 75%. Guys, we got one minute. One minute. We're so close. We're so close. Let's do it. Mega with the 400 bits pushing us 85%. Guys, guys, we're. Oh my gosh. Don't let it slip. Don't let it slip. Let's do it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Al is pushing us over to level five. Yeah, gifting the subs to Charlene, Soggy, Printmaker, oh, Heather, and Curstop. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alice, for your generosity. All right, guys. All right, let's complete level five. Let's complete level five. If we complete level five, I'm po okay. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll sweeten yeah. the deal one more time. One more time. We got four and a half minutes, 35%. 35%. I'll sweeten the deal. Last one. Last one right here. Oh, yeah. This is a genuine opal. Who likes opals? Oh, My camera doesn't show it off yeah. very well. But it is gorgeous. Yeah. Tossing that opal up there. I, like I said, I don't know where my tweezers went. Tweezers. Tweezers. Yeah, start. Oh, found them. All right, let me see if I can show this off a little bit. Yeah, 46%. Guys, we got three and a half minutes. Thank you so much, Vengeance and Printmaker. Yeah, and Michaela subscribing for oh, eight months. Thank you yeah. so much for the support. Yeah. All right, so check it. Oh, yeah, look at that opal. That's a nice looking opal. Plus we got we've got this peridot, the peridot that I custom cut. We've got pink sapphire. Sorry guys, getting a little blurry, getting a little blurry up in here. Guys, we're at forty nine percent. Forty nine percent, less than three minutes ago. You did win a Peridot and gave it to your sister as it's her birthstone. But if there's an Opal prize, Mama would keep it for herself. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Printmaker, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, I broke out the Opal, that's right. 58% guys, we got two less than two and a half minutes. Let's go, let's do this. Who wants to win a gemstone tonight? Let's see, what else, what else did I put up here? Um, um, hold on, I, dro I dropped it. Oh, why not, let's just do it again. Let's, do, let's put this up here too. Let's put this up here. Look at this, we're putting all the shinies up here. I just added something else to the pot. It's a blue sapphire. Blue sapphire. Don't worry, don't worry here, let me focus. Let me just get this into, get this into view here. So this, uh, yeah, I put a created blue sapphire up there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, thank you so much, Acme. Guys, we got a minute and a half. Minute and a half, let's do it. Acme earning the 1K bits badge. Thank you so much, dude. One and a half minute. We got to complete level five. Printmaker with a thousand bits. Dude, thank you so much, man. 78% pushing us up to 78. We got one minute. Let's go. One minute. Yo, what up, Angel? Windstar with the 200 bits. Pushing us to 82%. Suki with the 100. Don't let it slip, guys. Don't let it get down to the last second. Alice gifting the tier to Smith. Smith, you were just gifted a sub. Make sure you thank Alice. Guys, we're so close. Oh, 200 bits. We're at 
<laughs> oh, that's adorable. Artful Turkey completing the level five hype train with the 200 bits, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that, guys. 100% with 20 seconds left. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this. Let's do this giveaway. Let's get it going right now. Oh, you guys are wearing me out. All right, let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, guys. Make sure you get in on that giveaway. Share your trains. Share your trains in there. Get in on this giveaway. Type exclamation rough crowd. You all deserve it. All right, while we're entering, while we're entering this giveaway, uh, let's go through. Let's go through what we got again. All right. We've got the opal front and center. We've got a created blue sapphire right here. We've got a custom cut peridot that kind of came out a little derpy. This is a created pink sapphire heart. And then what else we got? We got some bigger stuff, right? Right, we got some bigger stuff. So let's just uh, let's move these out of the way here. Then we've got a natural ruby. Look at that big old ruby right there. Ooh, that's a nice looking ruby. Then we've got a natural green garnet. Look at this garnet. Oh, that's a nice looking garnet too. Dude, thank you so much for the follow, a little piece. And banana, banao. Banana, banana ooh. <laughs> <coughs> Yo, what up, Angry? Thanks for joining, man. And we've got our final one, which is a uh, Rhodonite, which is a beautiful green and pink stone. Then my camera hates focusing on. So if you win, what are you gonna pick? Huh? What are you gonna pick when you win? Give it to me, guys. I want to hear it, or rather read it. What are you gonna pick when you win? The ruby. You need the peridot. So guys, yeah, Liz, get in on that. So guys, I want to. Um, I do want to remind everyone. I want to remind everyone that. I would not be here if it were not for you and your generosity and your support. So thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do these giveaways if it were not for your generosity and gifting subs, cheering, letting others know I exist, uh, subscribing yourself, uh, and and watching. So I want to thank everyone so much. And make sure, everyone, you thank each other for making this possible. Uh, because the rough crowd is all about inclusions. Inclusions. Oh, God. Being inclusive. <laughs> being inclusive and um and having fun Pro promoting a positive place on the internet where we don't judge we're just here to have fun man oh sorry i'm still recovering from uh from covid here so so yeah yeah man you like those board games i've got a lot of them i love board my head's kind of big i got a lot of board games i love them oh you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the beautiful bald head, magical goodness, and light. <laughs> All right. I will get better. I will. I Actually, today I'm feeling a lot better. All right, guys. I'm closing the entries. Here we go. You can, you can rub my head, King. I'll let you. All right, guys. Can I, uh, can we get some, can we get some love in chat? I want to see the love. Let's just show, show all that love, guys. Let's thank everyone here. We're all here because of everyone's generosity and, and, and the positivity, man. So let's go. Let's go. Let's show that love. Yeah. 
All right, here we, here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? All right, three, two. Should I wait for the like climax of this song here? Three, two, one. Printmaker! Dude, Printmaker! Congratulations, guys. Let's all congratulate Printmaker. Yeah, Printmaker. Now, Printmaker, I'm pretty sure I know which one you're picking. But just to be sure, which one are you going to pick? I'm taking it. <laughs> What up, fishes? Or should I say big house? Yeah, congratulations, print. Printmaker, which one are you grabbing? I need you to say it. Opal or sapphire? Oh, red pill? Which, here, here, I'll put them up there. Let me put them side by side for you, all right? Toss them side by side. Got our sapphire. Got our opal. Thanks, Suki. Opal for the win. Oh yeah, printmaker. All right, all right, printmaker. What I need you to do is make sure you message me on Twitch. Let me know that you chose the opal. That opal is gorgeous. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it has survived so many giveaways. Yeah. So, printmaker, make sure you message me. All right. You'll drop a pick of the ring. Oh yeah. All right, should we get back to, to our, our gem cutting here? Should we get back to cutting? So for those of you that are joining us and new, what I do here is I take raw minerals like this and I turn them into beautiful finished pieces like what you saw on the camera there. Uh, what we're working on right now and actually what we're about to polish is uh, this is a cubic zirconia. Yeah, let me get it over here so you can actually see it, it being blue. Cubic zirconia that we are cutting into a Legend of Zelda rupee. You can see on the top here. Oh, geez, too close. It's uh, it's looking a little rough, so we're gonna give it a nice mirror finish. All right, we're gonna give it a nice mirror finish. There you go, printmaker. I'm sorry to hear that, but dude, I'm glad you can. I'm glad you can replace it. I'm really happy for you. Do I ever make custom pieces for my board games? Um, I made a, um, so uh, a lot of people know Settlers of Catan. Uh, that's what I like to call the gateway game. That's like what people learn how to play before they uh, they know that the more in-depth games are, are available. Uh, like that's what they play after Monopoly, right? <laughs> It's, it's what I like to call the gateway game. Um, so what I did was I made um, out, of a, out of a piece of quartz a uh, the robber. I made I made a robber out of quartz a little bit. You usually use Splendor for that. Splendor is a good game. I played Splendor. <clears throat> You're looking through Mom's jewelry, still trying to get through her stuff. He found her scarab bracelet and scarab ring. Oh, that's badass cannon. I I own Settlers, but I'm not. Um, it's definitely not one of. It's not my top pick to play. So again, guys, what we're doing here is we are giving the the facets a nice mirror finish. We're gonna make them nice and shiny. And 
There we go. Let me show you. Let me show you. Or Dixit. Yes, I've got Dixit. Uh, my, my, my copy of Dixit's right. There. Right there. <laughs> Alright, let me show you. Let me show you the difference here. Got chains out of your painting clothes. All right, printmaker. What stones are usually used in the old scarab bracelets? You see tiger's eye and jasper. You don't recognize? I have no idea. Sibis, you around? Oh, yeah, there's Sibis. Sibis, do you know? Sibis might know better than I do, Canon. All right. So, again, look at that difference. You see that? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Look at that shine. Oh, whoa. I am alive, Control. Oh, Lapis. That makes sense, Alice. Yeah, Lapis. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to go tonight, guys. Um, but at least we'll at least finish this stone up tonight. Yeah, what up, Rainbow Sprite and Unpredictable Artist? Yeah, how's everyone doing? I am uh, I am back from the land of COVID. Still feeling it, but hey, I'm getting a little better. Yo, what up, Nipper Quinn? How you doing tonight? What were you working on tonight, um, Unpredictable? Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I want to remind everyone that this Friday, this Friday is a big day. Okay, no, uh, we got a couple things going on. Uh, number one, the Streamer Renaissance Festival is going on. What is that, you ask? Well, I will be dressed in my kilt, and uh, I'll leave it up to your imagination if I'm wearing it traditional or not. Um, and then... We're also going to be um, we're also going to be starting our our um, oh, what do you call it um, charity streams for uh, raising money for food for children who are affected by COVID and their families can't afford to buy food. Uh, so we're going to be raising money for that, and then also this Friday is Jackbox Games, where we give away Amazon gift cards. Yes. We give away gemstones and Amazon gift cards. All the money we raise from these hype trains go right back into the stream and making it better. So, yeah. Oh, it has been terrible, unpredictable. Today's the first day where I actually feel okay. Have a great night, Acme. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Oh, yeah. I'll tassel dance. You best, you best believe it. Yes, and you can uh, you can thank Unpredictable Artist and Jexy Thing for their wonderful uh, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Help me out. Putting together of this event for the second time in a row. Send vids of the task events. All right, Acme, give me your uh, give me your Snapchat. I'll send it to you. <laughs> But yeah, man, this has been a this uh, COVID's been a trip. I lost my my sense of taste and smell a couple days ago, which actually is not too bad, at least for me. Um, I can still sense with if I'm eating something salty or sweet, like I can taste that, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, other than that. Um, the biggest thing was just being tired. Oh, it's the worst. But Pedialyte. All right. It's my first time ever drinking Pedialyte. It's disgusting. It tastes like salty um, NyQuil is what it tastes like. Salty NyQuil. But, hey, it has helped. It is. I know, right, Me right? right Mellow? I'm going to call you Mellow. It's so disgusting. Oh no, it's still, I, I, I could taste all week and I've been drinking it all week. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it still tastes disgusting. 
Because now all I can taste is the salt and sweet. Oh, I got it really bad. I got it really bad unpredictable. Um, I don't know if you were here for last Sunday's stream. Um, but on stream, I was like, I was like, guys, I'm starting to get jittery and like really cold. And I thought it was because of my, my knees. I was, I was like tucking my legs while I was working. But no, man, just hold your breath when you drink it. Oh, good call. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, what was happening is uh, the COVID symptoms were like fully setting in on stream. So yeah, I was uh, it was not fun. And then I went to after stream, I went upstairs and I was so I was I was frozen, right? And I was getting the cold sweats. And uh, I called the doctor's office and set up an appointment uh, for the next day. I went and got a test, and all of a sudden I get a I get a result back says positive. I'm like what? So yeah, I got. Um, I got COVID. I caught it at work. Oh, hey, let's go back to our original song. Our song mix, shall we? As much as I love the, the hype music here, let's get back to here. Get some broth or even bouillon. Much more pleasant way to get salt. Well, this also has zinc in it, actually, too. So, um, let's see. It's got, it's got salt, citric acid, potassium. Um, more sodium, sodium citrate, sucralose, acyl, uh, acyl, wait, acyl fame potassium, more potassium, zinc, zinc gluconate, and some for, it, it contains milk ingredients, whatever that means. No, no co-workers got it. I... Um, I'm the only one, I guess, and it must have been like one little molecule, one little COVID molecule must have just like slipped past my mask and got in at some point. Cause like I started feeling my legs getting all sore at work on that Sunday, and then that night, man, after the stream, I called up my boss and I'm like, I'm like, dude, I think I got COVID. I'm not coming in tomorrow. The thing is, is I don't really deal with customers, right? Because I do, I do the jewelry repair, right? So I'm, I'm sitting, in, I'm sitting behind a window that customers can look at me through, but I never really go out there. So I think it was one of the sales staff, or even like when the sales staff came walking back. It may have it may have just flown on the wind or I mean maybe it was in the the air ducts I don't know I drove I drove to work all by myself oh yeah it could have been on a, on a ring I worked on that would make the most sense actually the rings I get guys are are very very dirty and a lot of the times they're packed my mail or just in the world or from sushi i didn't i don't think i got it from sushi because i went to sushi like a, a week before yeah they they the sales staff uh disinfects it by dunking the entire thing in alcohol however like i said there's a lot of skin and stuff that's typically packed in the ring because a lot of rings these days are hollow um so wherever it's hollow on the jewelry oftentimes has a lot of um as i like to call it skin cheese so that's probably that's probably what it was yeah that could have been too mm, skin cheese yes if you guys wear earrings earrings actually tend to have it the most if you wear earrings, take your earring out and look under your stone. Look under that stone. 
If you see, you, you, you'll be surprised. You'll see some yellow. You'll see like a little yellow skin cheese in there. <laughs> Michaela, I can recommend it, but I'm not the boss, unfortunately. And I typically clean all my jewelry. But, um, unfortunately, you know, in America, not everyone takes it as seriously as some people. Now, I'm really lucky. No, Jezebel! Um, I'm really lucky because I have asthma that uh, I never had any breathing issues. Um, I, I actually have pretty bad asthma. I've had it my whole life. No, Acme! Yeah, I'm hoping, Michaela. I mean, a lot of people also, um, a lot of consumers don't know how they can clean their jewelry at home without an ultrasonic. So one way that you can clean your jewelry is an old toothbrush and warm soapy water. Um, every gemstone should be okay in, in warm soapy water that comes in jewelry. Now all you gotta do is take this toothbrush, you just gotta like, like, you can brush it, but also like, like, just like stick it in there. You just like stick it in there. And then you'll get all that stuff out. Yeah, clean up the skin cheese, exactly. <laughs> I don't have an ultrasonic, unfortunately, Jezebel. Angel, let's see, I'm trying to figure out what champagne colored stone to go with chocolate diamonds and what pink slash peach stone for the main on a rose gold band. Um, well, if you're going to go with pink, I would say do a sapphire. Uh, peach sapphires are actually really hard to find, especially created ones, and genuine ones are very expensive. Um, it's mainly because there's a monopoly on that market for that color. In the, in the in the gemstone world um, and then uh, um, however there's really really pretty tourmaline I actually have one let me see if I if I've got it laying around here opals you can do you can do soapy water with opals yep you have a ring that has skin cheese in it the ring was your grandmother so you don't know Whose skin cheese or where? Oh, you don't like light or neon pink? Okay, then I would say. Oh, I'm sorry, Jezebel. Uh, another thing you can do, especially if you have diamonds. So if you have diamonds and and like gold, uh, you can put your ring in just just plain vinegar. Set it in there. Let it sit clean it a little bit it'll shine that ring and those diamonds up so good oh no Jezebel oh no we scared Jezebel up I'm sorry Jezebel yep just plain white vinegar uh, just be careful though with uh, some gemstones like sapphires will be fine um, and um, um, Nothing porous, basically. Like quartz and up is fine. Uh, you probably don't want to do emerald. All right, here, let me see if I've got, I got this laying around here. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go. Dude! Yeah, thank you so much, Scott, for the nine months, dude. Thank you. All right, let me show you this peach. Let me show you this peach. This is a tourmaline right here. Uh, you can do a really, really pretty peach tourmaline. 
Uh, you can also do Morganite. Morganite's got a really pretty peach to it. Yes, earlier, but didn't see this, I think. Uh, will hand sanitizer hurt any kind of gemstone? Um, probably not. It would probably hurt opal. And uh, it also might hurt if you have any treated, like, um, if you've got treated emerald or something like that, it might hurt that as well. Yeah, isn't that a gorgeous color? Uh, you, you've also got Morganite. Morganite's a really pretty color, and that's actually really durable, just like uh, tourmaline. Morganite's more of like a lighter, it's kind of like a light pink. There you go, Morganite's kind of like a lighter, a very, very soft pink. Opals are such divas. Oh. <clears throat> All right. You guys want to see where we're at so far? We've got a few more things to go, and then, not, then we're done with the stone. Check it out. Oh, yeah. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to cut the table. The table on a stone is um, is the flat part. Is the flat part on the on the very top, um, and that well is why it's called a table because it's flat. See, so you need to get made new or recast your wedding ring. And you want a pink type stone. I'd say look at Morganite or Tourmaline. Morganite or Tourmaline. Those are really pretty stones. Um, and they're durable too. Um, or you can look at Sapphire. Sapphire is another one. Like I said, you can get... So that, that first uh, peach... That peachy Tourmaline I showed you. You can get that in Sapphire. Um... However, if you get it in created sapphire, there's only like one. You can't get a custom cut, basically, because they don't sell the rough. Um, because the company that makes that color rough has monopolized it. But they do sell already pre-cut stones, which are very, very beautiful. But expensive because they have a monopoly. <laughs> All right, Acme, have a good one. Um, and, um, or you can get a natural one, but, and, and get that cut, but that's also very, very expensive because it tends to be, uh, one of the more rare colors to occur naturally in Sapphire. Thanks, Sibis, for helping out Canon. All right, guys, so what we got to do here is we got to put on what I like to call the tabler, or as we also like to call Leela, our derpy koala. What color is that? Peach. Sibis, we had this conversation about peach sapphires. Ugh, they're the worst. <laughs> well, you can't find rough. You can't find created rough. That's like that peach color. It's really unfortunate. It's, it's because of there's a monopoly on it, which is stupid. 
Um, no, I, I don't think they're from a single mine. They're just, it's just a rare color to, to occur in natural sapphires. And there is a, there's a company that has been able to develop and create that color in created sapphire, except they hoard it and they won't sell their, their rough. Oh, sorry, there might be a little bit of a uh, screaming from the gemstone. Don't worry, it's not getting hurt. It's all good. It's all good. All right. No gems were hurt in the making of this. Yeah, guys, we're almost done. You excited? I'm excited. Ooh, how's that look? I think that's pretty darn good right there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. So now I gotta make sure I get all the water off my wheel uh, because it is oh, solid yeah. steel. Dude, what? Dude, Rainbow Sprite with the 10 gifted subs. Dude, Rainbow, thank you oh, so much yeah. for your generosity and support. Dude, thank you. Gift into Kenner and uh, Nomura and Cleokai. Stodgent, oh, yeah. Remix, Moggy Soggy, Logan, Tommy, Soren, and Lolcakes42. Make sure you guys thank Rainbow Sprite for their generosity. Thank you so much, oh, Rainbow. Yeah. Dude, I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's all that is a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, oh yeah. All right, guys, now we're gonna go and polish. Give our table oh, yeah. a nice polish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like, yeah, the fast dance? Oh yeah, for those of you that, that weren't around when I still worked out of my out of my old office, oh, that background yeah. there is where is where we used to pass it on stream, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Ken was going to be named oh, Cornelius yeah. and his middle name is Richard and last name Field. His name would have been Corn Dick Field. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah thanks Ken alright guys let's polish this up let's get this nice and polished we want to see a finished stone I look a little shorter, don't I, guys? I, I think it's because my chair is... Oh, yeah. See, I'm normally up here. I'm normally all the way up here. My chair was uh, a little sunken. Dropped down a little bit. Actually, that's how... That's how um, I've learned to work as a goldsmith, is you want your work to be eye level otherwise you start getting a hunch so by my chair being down here I'm more eye level with the machine oh it's alright Ken don't worry we'll forget about it I'm noticing your polishing lab can't really see any oil or paste correct um Let's see. No, you can see it. See? 
See, it's all right there. Um, I just don't, I don't have a ton on there right now. But there is oil and there is a uh, diamond paste on it for sure. I actually might need to put a little more on there. We'll see here. So let's actually just kind of spread it. It's, yeah. Yeah, that's how I like it. Oh, yeah. Spread that. So what's on here, guys, is a uh, 14,000 grit diamond paste. This is what's giving it a... Um, this is what gives the stone a nice mirror finish as well. Uh, it's just like sandpaper. You got to... You gotta go from the heavy stuff down to the fine stuff. That is why they call them fine gems, right? <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm just talking now. Yo, what up, duck? How you doing tonight, Burr? Thanks for joining, man. Thanks for coming back. Hope you're doing well. I was on a little bit of a hiatus. I got COVID, if you hadn't heard. Um, I'm, today's actually the first day that I'm feeling okay. My headache's gone. Uh, yeah, I've had a headache for seven days. Guys, seven days straight I've had a headache. My body's not nearly as achy as it was. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, Hippie, what is, what, what's giving you trouble on it? Is it scratching? Is that what's going on? You swear it wasn't cold for the whole stream and now you're freezing. So, <laughs> Uh, Scott, tonight we are fastening a cubic zirconia that we have literally been working on for like a month. And like, I kid you not, we've been working on this thing for a month. And um, I think we are finally finishing it up tonight. Uh, this is going to be a Legend of Zelda rupee. Here, check it out, guys. Ooh. Sorry, still got some stuff on it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is um, there's there's bits on the uh, oh it's hazy. Okay, so what that means, Clippy, uh, when your when your facets are hazy, is they're not getting a good enough polish. So when I see that happen on mine, that either means I need to add more more diamond paste to it. Um, I need to push a little harder. Um, or I need to add oil. Typically, I will start by adding more diamond paste and then spread that around. And then if that doesn't work, I'll push a little harder. And then oil is typically my last one. Yo, what up, girl? What up, girl green? What up, girl? How's it going, green? Thanks for joining. Yeah, it is looking great, isn't it? Okay, so then hippie, I would, I would, um, I would try a little more pressure then, because yeah, when you when you got like those little grainy things, it's just not polishing fully, because one of those three things missing, at least in my experience. Yeah, come on over here, guys. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add uh, what's called. Um, frosting. We're gonna add a little frosting. Yeah, dude, I'm glad you you showed up. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, what what frosting is is where we cut facets that are not polished. 
So we leave these unpolished, as you can see right here and here. But what that is going to do, if you look at our rendering here, you can see where they're where they're unpolished right here. I feel a little bit better green. Uh, I'm not I'm not fully I'm not fully there, but I'm feeling better. Yes. Thanks for asking, and thank you for the lurk. Um. But yeah, so what that does is it it affects. Um, how the light re enters the stone and reflects in the stone and also what this is gonna do for our Zelda rupee is it's gonna give it's gonna give that the definition of, uh, of the facets like it does kind of in the game so yeah let's do that sorry guys I gotta take a sip of my Pedialyte I hate. Even though I can't taste, like I have no sense of taste. Yeah, f the COVID. Even though I have no no sense of taste or smell, like I said, I can still like I can still taste sweet and salty, and spicy and peppery and like savory. I can taste the concept of the flavor. Um, but it is just like, oh, Pedialyte is just so gross. Like I said earlier, it's like salty NyQuil. All right, time to get some, time to get to frosting. So we're going to go to 12 degrees. Also, guys, um, I forgot to mention, if you have any questions about the process I'm, I'm doing or what I'm doing or anything at all, please feel free to ask. I love explaining what I'm doing a lot. No, we're talking about Pedialyte and just how uh, gross the flavor is of it. All right, so here's how we frost. We, we put it on here without the spinning and we just go like that. I'm frosting with 1200. Why, what do you normally frost with, Civis? Um. I guess it depends on the stone, Sid. Sometimes I'll do 600, but I've noticed that the 600, if I do it on a stone, that, uh, like, my gem is ready to make... Yeah, that's what it does. What? Hold on. Let's see if it makes that noise. Oh, it's more high-pitched today. Okay, have a great night, Green. Thank you so much for the lurk. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, uh, for Sapphire, I use the 600. For the CZ, the 1200 leaves enough that it's fine. But like some stones, some stones my 1200 acts funny and will just like, uh, will leave it almost, almost with like a, a, a pre-polish. So that's when I use the 600 on that. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Oh, that's looking nice. That is very nice. Very nice. I haven't even been able to go to my P.O. box. I bet it's overflowing with stuff. So I ordered, I ordered uh, some sapphires, ruby, and emerald rough. And I'm pretty sure it arrived at some point. I just haven't been able to go. You hate dating apps? Guys suck. I agree. I agree. Guys do suck. You know, that's something that like, like I hear stories from friends and from you guys. And also I've seized things and I'm just like, I don't understand how, how like a person, whether it be male or female, feels comfortable like saying certain things or acting like as oh what's the word assuming like man i remember back when i was dating i would ask i i would always ask before anything like even even when sandy and i started dating i and and like you know we, the tension was there we were like alone and, and kind of like getting a little handsy right but then, then I'd be like can I kiss you <laughs> and it like just ruined I just ruined the moment because I don't want to overstep a boundary you know and I just I'm one of those people that doesn't understand how how people think it's okay to overstep boundaries like that and I don't know if it's just laziness or maybe it's just the times. But that's always been, I mean, that's me, is there's there's boundaries and I've got to ask, you know. So yeah, I never I never really did the dating app thing. I, I always somehow just, seven, eight, nine, ten, what? I always just somehow, I guess, stumbled across a girl that I found attractive and just started talking to her. It's a combination of entitlement and bad socialization. Okay. This is, this is looking nice. This is looking really nice. I'm liking this. 55. Now they're just like, well, if you want a guy that's great in bed, well, that's me. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose unpredictable. People are too bold and clueless these days. Also, some dudes are using the apps for fantasy material, not to actually meet someone. Ugh. Yeah, I just, I guess I've never, I missed out on that whole train. Granted, okay, after my first girlfriend, I did try like a free trial. Back in my day, there were only like a few online dating things. I think one of them was eHarmony. I think I tried that one out. It was interesting, but I didn't like that I couldn't have a conversation with anyone until like you jump through all these all these hoops and I'm like, I just wanna like have a conversation. Not a scripted conversation, you know what I mean? So I stopped doing that. Cause I got equally as many like 
I got creepers on there too. All right, Suki. You heard the worst pickup line you ever heard in your life the other day. Dude in front of me is paying for his subway. Asks the cashier her name. She tells him. And this dummy says, can you scream it for me? Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, when I worked at Subway, I actually, Subway is where I got the most, the most, like, phone numbers ever. And I worked with, uh, I worked with this guy. Oh, he was great. His name was Mandrell. He was a uh, he was low key uh, hip hop rapper guy. Uh, he was great. I loved him. Um, but whenever whenever I thought a gal was attractive, I'd always be like, "What can I make fresh for you today?" And then I would talk to her as we go down the line. You know, and you just have a little bit of a conversation. And that, that's how you do it. I don't understand that. I don't understand that kind of thing. Like, why do you think... Why do you think that's okay? Yeah, I worked at Subway for a while. I worked at Subway for four years. I just think that's so... Ugh, that's so weird. Man, it makes me uncomfortable, Simmons. Just thinking about that. I can't even imagine like what you felt like in that line behind him. Would have been like, oh, dude. Oh, whoops, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> Be like, here, dude, let me buy you a cookie. You can go away now. I, I actually would probably apologize to her. I'd feel so bad. All right. Where are we at? Hi. I made a mistake. I got taken to read off of drugs, so it's totally fine. I got close to going to the trash. Penny's been eating stuff out of the trash for like the last 10 minutes. Oh. Yes. Well, yeah, shame him, but I'd still apologize to her on his behalf. All right, you guys want to see it? Oh, that looks sweet. All right, check it out, guys. Doesn't that just make that pop? Oh, that just makes that stand out so good. My dog got into the trash can. Yeah, man. Oh, that looks so good. All right. Um, let me let me get this off. I gotta get this off the top. Uh, I gotta pour a little bit of acetone, and uh, then we'll toss it on the camera. I also have to use the restroom. Don't go anywhere, guys. You want to see the final piece? It looks way better off the top. When it's on the top, you actually don't get nearly as much reflection. Oh, was it Harry? Thank you, Angel. Ah, oh, that sucks, Mega. All right, next time I hear that, I, I will I will do that. I'll be like, dude, that's not cool. Come on. All right, hold on. Let me toss up uh, something interesting to like to look at. Here you go, guys.
right, now I'm removing it from the top. Almost done. Check it, all right? Don't go anywhere. started on this next one but let me show you uh, what's going on with it all right so here is a this is a tourmaline that I faceted um, a while ago and I just dopped it up and when I went to set it you can see it's it's dual color and you can see where the the corner there chipped up so, sorry, you're going to see super glue all over it. So, yeah, what I got to do is I got to fix that. Got to fix that corner right there. So, we're going to, instead of this uh, being four corners, we're going to end up, we're going to end up making those uh, corners flat. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be working on that tonight. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm a little bit exhausted after this stream. You guys really had me on my toes tonight. Man. Oh, how was everyone's week? I miss you all. How was, how was everyone? How was everyone? Mmm. You didn't get a facet dance. So every time we finish a gemstone here, guys, we assume the position, and then we do what's called the facet dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. All right, should we check this out? Should we check it? Let's check it. Yeah, you like them? You like these pants? Pardon me while I look at the stone. Alright guys, I think it's ready. Alright, let me go wash it off. Let me go wash it off real quick. Oh, 
Dry it off, and then we're good to go. Yeah, these pants rock. Content. All right, let me uh, grab my, oh, get my fingerprints off here so Sibis doesn't yell at me. All right, here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready to see this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, that looks so good. I'm happy with that. I think it turned out nice. Oh, dude, cubic zirconia with this cut looks so good. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah. And there, there is our Legend of Zelda rupee worth five. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's what's up. All right. Oh, thanks, Angry. Angry, you joining us on Friday so I can say your full name? I hope so. By the way, guys, I want to remind everyone, Friday, we are doing Jackbox Night, which is where we, we celebrate our community, the rough crowd, by playing party games, getting slightly intoxicated, and giving away free money. Yes, I give away Amazon gift cards all night long, and uh, we will be having a lot of fun. We are also going to be streaming in our kilt because that is also the beginning of the Renaissance Streamer Fair. And we will be starting our charity stream that Friday, raising money for children and uh, uh, bringing them food because their families have been affected by the COVID outbreak here in America. So, other than that, guys, um, I think I'm going to call it a night since I'm still recovering from COVID and I'm a little exhausted. Um, I want to thank everyone so much for your generosity tonight. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Other than that, how about we go and, uh, how about we go and raid Bad Mood Leather? Why not? So, Bad Mood Leather, uh, great. This is a mature stream. Bad Mood Leather Leather is a mature stream. Uh, she, she does swear. <laughs> Quite a bit, so if that is not your place, then uh, do not follow. Um, but she does amazing leather work, so let's go in there. Let's show her some some uh, love, some support. And uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much again for all of your support and your generosity, and for popping in and viewing and hanging out. If you enjoyed yourself, consider pressing that follow button. Um, otherwise, um, hopefully, I will feel up to streaming this Tuesday. Other than that, be peaceful to one another. Try to use less plastic. Save the earth. Have a good night, guys. Bye.